To commemorate the third year in office of Governor Kiumi Ambadi, the Lagos State Ministry of Education organized a ministerial press briefing where the Deputy Governor of the State, Dr. Idiot Adebule, who also doubles as the Superintendent of the Ministry, presented the scorecard of the Lagos State education sector. On infrastructure development, the Deputy Governor said the Akimumi Ambo, the administration, has improved the learning environment by upgrading existing infrastructure and providing new ones. We have renovated nothing less than 160 schools in the state. <laughs> and when you read 160 projects, we are talking about the administration and construction in particular of new walls. And when you mean construction of new schools, we are talking of schools that have all the facilities that it requires and as such a total cost of four point eight billion have been spent in renovation and rehabilitation of schools in the last one year. We were also able to commission another model college in the Koroju this time, a girl college. The second that we have in the state. This we hope to continue to do because we believe that we must give the girl child an opportunity to excel. It's about not just the secondary, but also the primary school. But I must mention in particular that construction of a total of 505 classroom with 512 toilet cubicles were completed in 26 schools in primary schools in the state. On science and technology, she disclosed that the state government has consolidated on the gains of teaching and learning of science and technology in Lagos state-owned schools. We have 322 senior secondary schools in the state. And out of the 322 senior secondary schools, we've been able to provide state-of-the-art laboratories for over 299. <laughs> and we have left just 30 distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, who are still going on in the implementation of this. And so the 20 secondary schools that are left, 10 is, is being worked on now, and 20 who will continue with the rest of the 20 in due course. Our team also won 10 trophies and 10 medals of which were won by the state public school students to emerge as the second overall best students at the 2017 National Junior Engineers, Technicians and Science and Sciences Jet Competition in 2017. Lagos <laughs> Model College Kanko also emerged the best of the 2017 state finals of the Oluwole Awolowo Chemistry Competition and is to represent at the national final. Tomia Community Senior Secondary School Meron came second at the 2017 PSED Chemistry Challenge. The Sigish ladies and gentlemen, our students are doing us proud and we are very, very proud. The Deputy Governor further listed the achievements recorded in basic education service and co-curricular activities. In 2017, 714,166,800 was paid as WAEG fee for 49,554 students that graduated from our schools in 2017. The placement test for primary six students from public and of course the private schools was also carried out. And I'm, I'm happy to announce that 96.61% passed this examination. The majority of our programs in the core curriculum, we are still continuing with them. We have the Lagos State School Debate, Festival of Cho Choral and Classic Music. This is preparing our, our students, allowing them to exhibit their talent, give them opportunity to display their potential. Because we know not everybody will be doctors, not everybody will be vice chancellor, but some <laughs> will choose. And not everybody will be pressmen and women. Some of them will choose to go into the art 
and music. In addition, she said that various competitions such as the Spelling Bee, Lagos State Schools Essay Competition and the Current Affairs Quiz Competition amongst others have achieved their set aims and objectives. This is an opportunity for us to see how best are we preparing these students. Is it all about academic alone? No, certainly not. Uh, you develop a child all round for that child to be referred to as desirable. And so we organize the Lagos State Governors Quiz Competition and our students are doing tremendously well. The Lagos State School Essay Competition, that is also going on. Lagos State School Current Affairs Quiz Competition. This is a new diet that we have created in the ministry because we realize that our students, yes, they can speak English, but are they very current about what is happening around them and around the world? We realized we needed to, to do something about that. And so that competition was created. International Day for Persons with Disabilities. These are special students that we have amongst us. And we are giving them special attention because we believe giving them special attention, we give them that sense of belonging. We give them the encouragement to know that, look, being disabled, does not mean you cannot make something out of life. And of course, one of the flagship of the ministry is a spelling bee quiz competition, which usually we produce the, the one day governor. And of course, Ms. Ms. Sufon Bukola of Awodora Senior Secondary School, Ajerome, and marked the winner for 2017 spelling bee competition and the 17th one-day governor of Lagos State. The deputy governor restated the commitment of the Lagos State government to preserve and promote the Yoruba language. Another major thing that happened within the year is the Yoruba language preservation and promotion law. This law was passed in the House of Assembly and for us in the ministry, we have adopted the implementation of the law and we have translated the national anthem to start with into Yoruba. We have continued to try to improve the number of registered schools that we have in the state. And so today, when I came, it was about 2,000. We are happy to announce that today it is 5,105 private schools that have been registered. We have also done a new guideline for registration. This is a bill to make it seamless. Before now, you, you would need to pay for you to get this guideline. Now it is free, it is online, you can access. And, and that is in a bid to ensure that of the over 17,000 unregistered schools that we have in the state, we have many of them coming on board. Other areas of achievements include screening tests and examinations, training and staff welfare, education quality assurance, code Lagos, and the state's tertiary education sector. There's no doubt that all the work that we have done in terms of digital uh, innovation question papers, where you have the photograph of the, of the child that is writing the examination, making it impossible to write examination for somebody, all of this, the examination board have done and indeed it has helped us a great deal in reducing examination my practices and of course the office of quality assurance distinguished ladies and gentlemen i must also use the opportunity to thank that office because they are alive they are effective and they are very very responsive and i want to use this opportunity to tell parents at home that rather than allowing these children to roam the streets, why don't you bring them to our technical and vocational colleges? For those who could not transit into the university, going to learn, I mean, to become doctors, they can still be useful to themselves. I remember in the technical colleges increased by 120% in the last And it's steadily rising, and that is why His Excellency the Governor has also approved the establishment of another three, one in Ibeju, one in Badagri, and the other one in Meron. We have graduates who are leaving our schools every year. But of course, the general comments out there is to say eh, they are unemployable. 
But for us in the state, we do not believe in that. We believe if we train these young ones, they will do well. And so the Ready Set Work initiative was introduced. And since inception, 12,500 students have trained under this program. We also plan to place 3,000 top performing students on internship after the, after the training this year. This is huge, and by the grace of God, we hope to run through it. <laughs> Code Lagos is also an initiative of the Ministry of Education aimed at teaching 1 million Lagos State students to code by 2020. The, the goal makes it the biggest head tech initiative in Africa. In May 2017, the program was launched a successful pilot phase with 67 schools, including government schools and private schools, which exposed over 5,464 students to the code Lagos coding framework. Indeed, the Lagos State Ministry of Education has achieved its vision of being a model of excellence in the provision of education in Africa. And for the sector, the sky is just the beginning.